Hey everybody, this is probably going to be a really quick one. I was uh, watching last night a video by Survivor Metal Man, I've linked him here, um, who was demonstrating the fact that you can uh, boil water in a plastic bottle without melting the bottle. Misshapen a little bit, but the bottle survives and you can actually boil water in it by suspending it over a fire. Well, that started a comment discussion about, hey, you can do the same thing in a paper cup. So um, I'm going to try that and uh, hopefully demonstrate that you can boil water in a paper cup. All right, so what I've got here, they're not big cups. I've just got plain old paper Dixie cups. It's unwaxed, just plain paper, um, but have uh, filled it up with water. And um, this is really impractical. <laughs> There's not really much reason to do this other than it's a cool party trick. Sorry about the smoke. So. Yeah, we used to test scouts with this. We'd uh, hand them a cup of water uh, and a tea bag and say, I need you to boil me some tea and, you know, give it to two teams and say, first one to do it wins. And uh, they struggled until they realized the trick that um, all you had to do, again, here's my cup of water. I'm just going to set it in here. The trick is not to spill it. Just for comparison, here's a regular cup. Um, this works for the same reason that you don't want to fall into the water when you're in uh, in the winter. There goes the there goes the empty cup. Um, water is a great conductor, and uh, of course the cup gets hot, but water pulls the heat away from it very quickly. Same way it pulls heat away from your body if you fall in. So we're going to let that go a little bit and we'll see what happens. All right, my first one fell over when a log shifted. Let's try this again. What do we think? Like I say, completely impractical, but fun with physics, huh?